All right, guys. Uh, so back here now with uh, <clears throat> the other choice today, which is Ripple to the dollar. Now, it, we, we had looked at Ripple just five days ago. The last time we'd done a poll in Ripple was uh, by request. So I'm just kind of picking up where we left off here. Now, just just a quick review here. We had, last thing we'd seen is this perfect just algo, just tick to tick play. And then we, we just we, st we seem to establish that target as our baseline here. And it, when we were, were last looking at this, here was we had, I think I remember saying, we, maybe, maybe we had a little one, maybe a one, two was starting there, but it was too soon to try and force something. We needed to get some signs of, of life here coming off of that low. Well, we sure got it now. So the, very encouraging to see, but I, as I suggested before, we, we, we put this in context, guys. We, we, there's a long freaking way to go, right? We, we got a lot, oh shit, I've got an old Set of median lines on here, so we got a long, long, long way to go. So don't don't get lost in the in the FOMO down here, where you start thinking to yourself, "Oh shit, man, I've missed the whole thing." Right? If you caught some of this off of that little retrace, or that, good for you, man. That that's that's just what we want to see. But don't, don't feel as though you know this this is the problem that we get the, a pump like this and the FOMO kicks in. You, you want to be very disciplined here, particularly with these kind of just parabolic moves. It's it's just it's it makes for a very risky trading environment here. So you just got to be careful with this. We're, the, I, just keep that perspective here. We're, we're twenty seven cents. We're forty three cents. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Percentage wise, that's a fantastic gain. But just uh, approach with caution here, right? We we've just we've got just a parabolic move. There's absolutely no support. It's just straight up here. You can just. Well, shit, right? If I, if I just, so I've got visible range here. So if I just pull this over here, so we're just, just looking at that. I mean, you got, it's just nothing here. Right? So it's, it's encouraging, right? We've, we've got an impulse underway, but this is the start of something, not necessarily the, you know, we, we are missing the end of something here. So let's let this show how strong it really is. Now, this so again, it's encouraging. So we can get a one, two, one, two. Looks like the three, four is in here. So I'm gonna, uh, let's go to an hourly. We can open this up a little bit more. So here's, here's where we left off, the contender as a one. We got a little two. Then this looked like, mm, you know, maybe it was a false break, but then now we get we get some clarity here. So one, two, I can get the one, two, I've got my, ooh, you can see the one, two, three, four, five, all there to give me the impulse in my third. That's a little bit shaky on the four, but it's, oh, let's open it up here. It's, you know, you're gonna have to pick a pivot here. So you've got sort of an odd, so essentially what you have is just congestion here. So we just, we just kind of deal with this, this congestion here seems a reasonable spot. So there, there's likely your, your four as we pause to go up. Now, even still, I guess, shit, I gotta go to 30 to see it. So it looks like A, B, maybe had a truncation in the C here. And one, two, three, four. Looks like we're, tr we may be trying to finish up here in a five, but it's not, it's not done yet. So don't, don't assume anything. So as we look here from the two, uh, so you got a little bit of a judgment call here, right? So remember, so if it's a, if it's an A B into a truncated C for the two, algo doesn't care about an algo, about an Elliott count. So I'm going to use the dominant low here, the lower low to that pivot right to the 38. So I've got a target up here. That, oh, fuck, it's not unreasonable, right up here. So you know, we're gonna we we could get beyond that. So it looks like we're trying to finish with a. Oh shit! So if we're gonna try and get. Um, one, one, two, three, four. Then it looks like we're trying to go one, two, three, four, trying to finish with a diagonal. So it does look like there should be a little bit more kick here. You know, should, could, right? So it's careful with the language here. So th there's a reasonable expectation that if this is just the one, two, three, we've done the four, that we're gonna finish with some sort of a motive to give us the five up here, right? It's not guaranteed, but it looks probable to give us that potential pivot for the third relative to this two, which I guess I'd have to bring over here. So we finish the impulse in the three, very good sign for bulls. Right, we know we've got, so it's a pretty good rip here for the three relative to the length of the one. So if I pull this off here now, knowing that we've got, we need a little more in that to, to finish it. 
Well, let's let's wait and see. I mean, it looks like there's a potentially an alternate count here if we're going to fail up here, but let's not let's not go to that just yet. So from just get same stuff as always, right? So length of the one projected from the two. Well, we're too far gone. So now we have to look at the subdivision in here. So we take the length of the one projected from the proposed four. Well, now this this starts to make a little bit more sense. So we can see here we get a nice target here. This would be the one six one eight. So it's too far for this one, two. So I could do a couple of things. Looking down here, I might use this as my two. Let's see how we look here. It's, it's, it's a tough call here. So as an Elliott trader, I would use the A, B, the truncated C as the two projecting for the three. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't quite. So here's 200 to the tick, but I think that's the one, two, three, four, five of it here. So I'm, I don't love this pivot not being as precise, but I, I think we look fairly good if we can get up here and finish this five. So I, I would lean heavily into this as my third relative to this one, two. So of course, the next, next opportunity we want to see, we want to get a break of this, of this pivot up here. So we get more confidence that we've got the fifth in. Now we're looking for the four, of course. All right. So here being the four, Five. Now, keep in mind here, we've got very little support because it's just a straight rip up. So you want to be careful about that if it's assuming we reach a point where we get we get some sort of retracement. So if this is the two and I don't have it up here yet, but if I'm just just for the sake of trying to put together a road, put together a road map. Let's get this. We'll go. Well, let's use the upper target here. So a four here at the 38 would be ideal. At least we have a little pocket of congestion here that we might be able to lean into here where we had the market start taking this stutter, stutter step. And then before we moved higher, now I'm including all of this, but again, it's very, it's very thin over here. So if it starts to come down, the potential here is for it to move very quickly as there's just, it, so you, you really want to see it hold here. So I would not be sitting here with a limit order because of the lack of support in that, in this just straight pump move. So I'd be careful about it here. I, I, not that I wouldn't be a buyer here, I would. I would just not give it too much. Too much room for the patent recognizing that I don't have a lot of stability here. Now we can look left and see if there's some, some structure here that we can use. And yep, we do have it. So we've got that here as potentially a base. So as far as I would give that is the other side of this. So first we got to get up here and, and finish this five. And then if we start the ABC, you know, so here you got a little cluster, here's the, the stronger support. So if you're gonna be a buyer around the 38, I wouldn't give it any further than that. All right, look, looking for that to get up to the five. Just, just a word to the wise, right? So this, this hopefully you'd, you'd get some structure here to hold it, but it's not as strong as this would be on the deeper retracement. And then we'd be looking at, at the 50. So uh, you could look at it a couple of different ways. So here, same difference, right? So if we go up, and remember, I don't have this pivot yet. So here's, here's the last high I have. I'm operating on the assumption that I'm going to get a new pivot up here to give me the fifth of the third and start that retracement. So this area here does look of interest, but just be wary of, of how far this could go and where you'd be anticipating it to hold. We can see here now all, all the support is down here. We're thin here. So, right, can't, I, I wouldn't, you know, it's always the, the challenge, right, where I try to give you guys a trade, but there, I, you can't buy it up here, right, guys? The, the risk is too high. Where are you going to put your stop? You, you got to wait for a pivot up here and then patiently wait for the four, right? So much of trading is just being patient and picking your, picking your spots, right? The, that, that, you got to be careful of that idea that, <clears throat> okay, now I'm trading, so I need to trade every day. Absolutely not, not reality. Right? See, what you want to do if, now, if a trade presents itself, well, you could trade every day. And kind of, I suppose, certainly dependent on what time frame you're trading. But in the kind of things that we're teaching you, which is essentially 60 minute and higher, where you're swing trading for bigger moves, you know, there, there may not be something you like every day, or it may just be a, a function of you know having to prioritize where you're allocating capital. Right now, everything across crypto looks good, right? We've got all, all springing to life here. So there's, 
a lot of opportunity. So, so choose wisely. Stick with the stronger projects. Look where we've got solid volume. You want to see technical precision, right? With so many choices, why take something that's so-so? You, you be very picky here. Very picky. So the four to the five, of course, what, what does that do for us? It confirms that we've got a good low down here, which we were already pretty good idea that we had something as technical down here off of the multiple tags of that algo target. Now we need, we need the four five to really lean into the idea that this is a hard low, right? So then, then coming back, back to context, right? Long way to go long way to go. So don't, don't feel like you're missing anything. We're just getting started if it's going to be real. All right. I think that's pretty much all I can offer there, but it's just ideal scenario, great conditions for alts, right? It's just what we want to see. And hopefully we see these, these motive waves realize their, their fifth. And then, then we go into alt shopping season. All right, guys, all very encouraging. Okay, good. We'll talk to you later.